Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. We're going to be taking up a six star to rank four. And I, it's been a while. It's been a while, and I thought about this uh, champion, and it's time. It's time to take this champion up. And if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up now, leave a comment below with your guess. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Kingpin, the big man himself. That's right. Now, let me tell you something. I remember Kingpin in the comics. And I've had this discussion with some people. I don't know what the art team was doing. Why did they make Kingpin fat? His clothes half fit him. What's going on? Kingpin in the comics is not fat. He's big, but it's muscle. As we learned, in one episode. Not only that, but even if he was fat, Kingpin was always well-dressed. His clothes fit, tailor-made suits, whatever. He was always dressed to the nines. All right, so I don't know what they got going on. But in any case, as a champion, he is awesome, okay? In Alliance War, he was actually banned so much, I believe he ended up being globally banned uh, for one season. And there's a reason. I, If I had gotten a uh, skill, rank up, four to five gem, he might have ended up being my first rank five. Now, one of the reasons is that I run the recoil mastery. And... He shrugs off like everything. And not only that, but he converts it into rage, which gives him even more power. So he is great. And he's a simple champion to use. You know, I I actually like him a lot. You may not see me use him a lot, but I like him a lot. Uh, I've used him in Battlegrounds. He's almost always part of my deck. Right now in the uh, Victory Track meta, if you are too close to your opponent for too long, you get a weakness debuff on you. Guess what he does with that weakness debuff? Yeah, converts it to rage, or at least a chance. Now, you'll notice that my kingpin here is not awakened. The reason that he's not awakened is because I wanted to wait until my next crystal opening to see if I could pull him and awaken him naturally. Uh, but if we can't, I will probably end up using an awakening gem on him. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I have, I think I have two left, uh, two generic awakening gems left. And I'm saving one of them. And the other one just may go for him. Uh, and what his awakened ability will do is it will give him, uh, or he'll start out with rage. And that means more power, more damage. Um, uh, we just take a look here at his details really quick. But then uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, signature ability that I don't have awakened. Mm, I forgot to show you the percentages, switch over to the percentages there. And... Uh, Here's his awakened ability, see? So I do want him awakened. And if I can get his, his sig up there, beautiful. So I may do that, but I may wait. We'll see. Because I am running the recall masteries, I start with rage anyway because he shrugs off uh, my debuffs. All right? You can see here, at this point, I have three, but I believe I used one of them. Uh, in another uh, rank up. I'm trying to remember who I used it on, but I forgot now. All right, now we're gonna head into Realm of Legends and look at these synergies, okay? 
Um, I, I deliberately chose these synergies, one of them because he's not awakened. Okay, so look at that one. That one is great. 100% rage, purify, ability, accuracy. But check this one out. Enter the fight with two rage. Remember what his awakened ability does? So this way, even though he's not awakened, I can get an idea, just an idea of what it'll be like when he is awakened. So I'm not in any rush to awaken him, but I do want him awakened. And if he's not awakened, he's got that synergy to um, uh, to give him uh, the, uh, I guess, to make up for it. Now, I believe that it will just add so that if he was awakened and had that synergy, it's even better. All right, so we're gonna fight. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, remember what I said that he shakes off, shrugs off and converts these debuffs. Well, in this fight, there's no debuffs. So this is what you get to see kind of a, a regular fight with him, all right? But you can see his damage. I'm just doing regular five hit combos. And then here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, now for every hit, he has a chance to build up rage. You see his rage stacks over there at seven. When he's unstoppable, if he gets hit or he hits, there's a chance for him to generate a rage. And because of that synergy, he was getting them. Bam, 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 bam. I think it's a 50% chance otherwise something like that all right but just look at him beast look at this that's his special one did you see that crit did you see the damage okay that was nasty that was a really nice hit and then there's his belly bones up belly bones up boom 24k off his belly that is nasty. And he goes unstoppable when that happens. Oh, my goodness. Just look at this. This boy is crazy. No regrets taking him up. Even unawakened. And this is just one brutal SP3. I had to show it to you. Uh. Boom, boom, boom. Uh. That just looks... I, I know folk got knocked out after that. That's just nasty. And then I was too far away, but I still got him in the end there. Um, but man, and look at his health. Look at Kingpin's health. And I'm firing specials. That's nasty. So yeah, definitely would have um, strongly considered taking him to rank five if I had had a skill rank five gem. I didn't get one, but I could do the next best thing and take him at least to rank um, rank four. Now, in this fight, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. I want to see how tanky he is. Okay? So, we already saw the damage that he was doing and all that good stuff. Um, in this fight, as you see here, I want to see how well he can take a hit. So we're going to get hit quite often in uh, this particular fight. Again, there's no um, no uh, debuffs, so he's not ramping up a lot. Okay, there we go. Belly bouncer. All right. Had to get that uh, special three. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. I'm so sorry to do that to you, girl. Oh. That just looks nasty. And then insult at the end, just throwing the money. And I always do that because I always underestimate. And then that last one, it just wouldn't move. I don't know why. Input dropped. Okay. All right, here we go. Just look at this, man. And I'm, I'm not even going for the damage. I'm not even trying to ramp up my uh, rage. Nothing. We're just... Going in, I'm going to start getting hit a little bit more, but I wanted to see um, early on just how much he would, uh, you know, the willpower would heal him back up. Because if you notice, I'm running the recoil masteries, but there's no poison. 
and there's no bleed. Very nice, right? And those rage, I believe, um, trigger his, uh, yeah, there they go. They trigger his uh, willpower. You see that? So he's healing. And see, like I said, I was getting hit, but he's healing. And like I said, I just wanted to have some fun. <laughs> just start bouncing, bouncing, get hit a little bit. But look at that, he can definitely take a hit. I was very, very impressed. So you'll see me using him a lot more, um, especially in the event quest. Just look at that, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. He took it and kept going. The boy is a beast, man. He can definitely take the punishment. Very, very nice. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and what you think about Kingpin. All right, take care, and you all have a blessed day.